Bubba Wallace. This nigga name is Bubba. Let's just take a moment of silence. That's his real name, y'all. Bubba Wallace. Bub. Oh, I got the half a Negro. Hashtag, come on, Bubba. Yeah. So Hashtag, Bubba Wallace is the 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 only, I guess, black NASCAR racer. NASCAR. NASCAR. And so so basically a noose was found in his racing stall. Yeah, like and, the, the garage, yeah. Yeah, garage. and so but this comes two weeks after NASCAR uh, banned Confederate flags being flown at events. And yeah. being that Bubba Wallace, um, he pressed for that policy change. People are saying that this happened to his stall because of that. But when I did a video on it and then, you know, people reported back to me and they told me, oh, um, the noose or quote unquote, the noose was found or has been in that garage stall since 2019. And they said that it's not a noose to be hung, but basically to open the garage door. But it's a noose. A noose is a form of knot. Like, you know, they got all these different types of knots out there that you can tie. I don't know. I'm not a Boy Scout. scout. So, but a noose is a form of a knot. And it's yeah. like, why would that be? And, and you mean to tell me, so since 2019, people have seen this and nobody said anything. Now, all of a sudden, NASCAR bans Confederate flags. And it's like, I think so, it was it was what it was that you're talking about, the, the garage thing. Yeah. The so do you think do you think that Bubba Wallace is just riding this whole racial tone out now? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bubba. I'm about to start calling him. Uh, now they're calling him uh, Bubba Sumlay. Juicy Sumlay. <laughs> Look, man. So I, I think that's a. Because um, when you say in the ironic, the the, 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 co the coincidences in this shit. So it's right after the NASCAR Confederate flag thing. And it's right maybe a couple weeks after these nooses, uh, these hangings, these lynchings started popping up. So is it a coincidence again after a couple of guys in Cali and Georgia got hung. Now all of a sudden, like on TV, Bubba Wallace noose found in Bubba Wallace's locker. I mean, it's the garage. And he's crying. Yeah, he was crying. He did all his promo. Did did every did ESPN first take. He did all his interviews. Then the corny and shit. And I posted on my IG story. I don't know if you've seen it. Where they they showed the track and everyone came together in unity and they were playing yeah. music on Fox and all of the racers got out of their cars and they walked alongside of his car. Fuck the race, I guess. Let's go. We this is before the race. Everyone hold uh, no for no social distancing. Every it's like fifty motherfuckers out there. All oh, he's the one black NASCAR driver, and everybody's came together for Bubba Wallace, and they did this and solidarity. And I like that shit was a PR moment for NASCAR. NASCAR yep. changed their image. That was not a bad. That was a, that was a stunt, and I hate to say it, and I might come off wrong, but when I biracial you gotta and i'm not it's nothing against biracial people you have nothing to, you have no control over your uh ethnicity but um i kind of my tenants go up with some biracial people i don't automatically think of someone's biracial and they look like me that they have the same racial viewpoints as me he might have grew up completely different but wallace might have grew up with his white family for all i know mm -hmm. also oh shit you know jesse some is is another biracial one he was trying to split an agenda with you know gays gay blacks and gay straight so you somebody don't know. said jesse put that noose in his garage he probably did yeah so take i forgot off. about jesse in the noose take the noose, take the heat off jesse and head yeah. and put it on bubba I don't that's like, insane yeah i'm like come on like i said it would be another biracial dude the same setup as jesse because when i first reported i said i don't know y'all it's kind of jesse some lay is kind of but I didn't want to be that guy. But yeah, it's starting to look like that because. Of course, it was like, come on, the NASCAR. Right, because so remember when NASCAR said, all right, we're not uh, letting Confederate flags being flown. And I was like starting to be like, um, why? Like NASCAR never really fuck with black people. It's not like black people are going to be tailgating at NASCAR anyway. You have one fucking person, black right. person, biracial on top of that. But now then, go, but then my cousin. He said, uh, well, NASCAR doesn't really have a dog in a race when it comes to, because I was like, is it Black Lives Marketing, right? And he was saying that they don't really have a dog in a race because their audience isn't really Black people. And I was like, 
oh shit, you might be on to something. I was like, so maybe they are just trying to be like, look, I know we got the history, but we ain't really with that shit. All right, whatever, whatever. But now when you got the noose, it's all starting to look like a play. Like what's yeah. going on? Like Bubba is trying to ride this fame out to the point that, you know, he's on there crying and um, oh, yeah. the people pushed his car. It's like, <laughs> if I was a NASCAR uh, fan, I'd have been mad. I'd have been like, look, yo, come on, man. Like All the NASCAR fans, a lot of them have quit. And that's one thing I say about NASCAR. It's a good old boys network, good old boy entertainment, but they're the good old boys. They, 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 they they don't fuck with you, but they leave. They're like, leave us to ourselves. We yeah. leave y'all alone. We leave y'all alone. Let fly your little fucking flags for all I care. That to me got overshadowed because even though they banned that flag, when they did that race, it was somebody with a big helicopter still flying that motherfucker across, <laughs> and people were still pulling up to the. So what are you, are you really gonna? What are you gonna right. do? You're right. Right. Somebody, you're gonna tell a cop to go out there and tell everybody to take their flag now. Like, never bothered. I don't, I don't watch NASCAR to be offended to see a, a Confederate flag. Right. You couldn't, can, you couldn't offend me if you wanted to. I don't watch your program. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I that's watch it. it. You know, that's, I, that's it too. And like I told everybody, I'm gonna keep my eye on this because I'm like, yo, this is all seems a little suspect here. The whole but, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm all right, Bobby. You lied. Like you know. <laughs> yeah, Bubba. Uh, poor actor, Bubba. I, guess. I just wasn't buying it. I lied because I didn't know who the fuck Bubba Wallace was before two, three weeks ago. So do you do you think Bubba? Um, this is going to be uh, call him Mr. Wallace. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Wallace. You think Mr. Wallace? This is a um a launch pad for like something bigger. Like, do you think he's going to come out in a couple weeks trying to maybe do acting or like? Sell a uh, product or something. I could see him in a Tyler Perry movie or something. He's, he's good at crying. He's light skinned. He's good at crying. Tyler Perry see, like light skinned Negroes too. Light skinned niggas that can cry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I could see him doing something like that. But he just, I don't know. Some people are going to buy it. Some people are not. I mean, you're really, it's like 50 50 split. I mean, some people are going to sell it. We stand with, I hashtag stand with Bubba Wallace. You know, I just, <laughs> I'm I good. <laughs> I'm good on that one. So, um,